Hi everyone, this is Richie the Blight Hedgehog and welcome to this video. I'm here with Orion and he is one of my German Shepherd plushies. He is from Anima, I believe, which is a French brand. I came across him in Italy in a store and I took him with me. He has little adorable little paw pets. It's really cute. Um, he has sweet markings all over him. It's not a very cheap brand, uh, but this one was really one that I that I really like. So yeah, I wanted to take him with me. Um, in this video, I'm going to show you my uh, entire figure collection, my canine figure collection, as I had this little request of Borzoi Alaska to um, yeah, of me showing my my dog and canine figure collection. So to be honest, it's not the, the, the collection that I really um, that keeps me uh, most busy. It is a collection I just established after a few years um, without any expe expectations and slowly I got attracted to a few figures and that's actually how I ended up having a collection that is in a, in a nutcap or in summary what I can tell you about my figure collection. So what I'm going to tell you about these figures is that they are not for sale, they are not for trade, and no, I can tell you exactly where I got mine. I didn't get them online, none of them are from online. So yeah, well, I live in Belgium, so I can't tell you exactly where those, those figures come from. Also, lots of them are, yeah, unbranded. So I suggest... Um, well, I'm going to tell you what I've, whatever I know about these figures, and that's actually all I can tell you about them. So I'm going to put Orion here. You will guard my uh, my box. So yeah, here I have my dogs. Here I have my wolves. Uh, most of them are German shepherds, and well, in wolves I have yeah, kind of um, more like divers, yeah, all kinds of lemon figures. So. Um, this little guy here is a very old, old retired Schlage figure. This was probably my very first one of all of them. Um, as you can see, they still had some work to do on the on the head and stuff. This is uh, their their standing up male. Um, he's uh, he's really pretty, and I got him I believe when I was like nine years old, so he's pretty old. By that time, they also had this wait i have to find her um i kept her aside but i messed up again um, this guy has no name he's just a schleich figure which i got in my local toy shop here uh, now he is unavailable he used to be available this is the female that go with him i colored her a bit so my figure is not exactly representative uh, anymore her neck was paler but this is the sitting female um, and the, those guys, yeah, go together. I believe I also had a pup of these. Um, where's my pup? Because I still have him. Yes, this is the pup. And that's my German Shepherd puppy. Also, so these figures are from years ago and they are retired. I have no idea what they cost these days, so um, these were like my very first figures to start this collection. So it means something to me. I also got that same day this Peregrine Falcon, which I really like. He's no canine, but I really like falcons as well. And I really got attracted to this one, and I was really glad to get it, and I kept it ever since. So I got these these ones. I also have another falcon, but I'm not going to show you right now. I just disdain two canines. Uh, so these are the first one I can show the first ones I can show you. In my falcon, which I keep with the canines. <laughs> um, and then came the next the next figures, uh, which is this uh, female rather sabled German Shepherd. Um, oh no! Excuse me. This is the wrong one. Sorry. Uh, mistake. Uh, wait. Um, yeah, well, it's a bit hard to find them. Yeah, here she is. See, she's a bit sable. This is what I mean by uh, 
she she looks backwards it's really sweet this is how the figure was sold actually with this uh, with this uh, fur pattern because I have another lady like this and she has been colored as well um, yeah when I was younger I um, sometimes I just here she is so this is the same dog but I, j I have been yeah coloring her fur uh, in a more um, stronger shade of black so this is actually the original one this is the one you could find in store how she was sold and also this one is retired but since I had a friend who gave me exact the same figure I decided to have one colored um, so these two are yeah exactly the same and these this is the female and I believe they also had the male but apparently I have been coloring him and him as well um, so this was the male um, that goes with this one as far as I know I didn't get the pup only got the male and the female and my male here is colored so yeah well that's what I used to do with my figures when I was younger so yeah a little mistake actually but um, this is how it ended up so this is my second wave of German Shepherd from Schleich and I believe uh, I'll, I'll got them in the same store um, in my local toy shop which is not very far from here so yeah it's called Inter Toys now all Schleich figures so far now I'm just gonna show you them in a random order this little one here is one I found in the thrift shop. He looks a bit like Thunderbolt and he is unbranded as far as I know. I found him in the thrift shop. Another one that I found in the thrift shop was this adorable little playful German Shepherd. Um, he has like one hanging ear. He's uh, really cute and he feels a bit, yeah, rubbery. He's a bit supple. He is, um, I hope that when he dries up, he won't fall apart because this is the kind of stuff that falls apart when uh, it dries up. Also from the thrift, uh, thrift shop. Also unbranded. Um, also found... Oh. Just gonna take them at random order. Um, this one here is one that I got in a, in a pack with uh, little pet figures and he is unbranded. Some of them look terrible, I know, but I don't really care. I really like the shape of their body. So I think I got this one in Hema. Um, but you have to get a package of pets to get this one. I think I threw the others away. <laughs> I didn't keep them after all. Uh, but in the package you already also had this, well, you had this pet bed. You had some, yeah, little things to climb on and to play with. I have two of those things, whatever it is. And I also have this feeding bowl. So you can actually, yeah, it helps to, to put on a show or something. Um, but I kept the German Shepherd ever since. They also had, in that package, you also had this Shetland Sheepdog. Which is my, my dad's favorite dog. Um... And he also looks terrible, I know, but like I said, I keep just I just keep the ones from uh, the one I, the ones I, I think are really pretty. Uh, so these guys come from the same pack, and they are both terrible looking. They are bad quality figures. They're not exactly like the Schleich or the Papa ones. They're just just random figures, just little toys, nothing special actually. Uh, they are unbranded. Um. No. Actually from the thrift shop. Now I'm actually busy with the ones that I found in the thrift shop. Like these. I came across this. I don't really know. High tech super technological canine thing. Wolf, German Shepherd, whatever it is. Uh, it has no name. It, it's a canine. It's, it's dog looking. Um, it has like a saddle on him. And uh, I decided to take him with me for now. <laughs> um, he's not bad. I mean, he's, yeah, it's not the kind of figure that is really, uh, but it's really special. It's a nice little toy. And I have no idea to which toy set he belongs. He's just a little random thrift shop find. He's kind of large. For now, I just keep him. Um, 
I like his uh, German Shepherd muzzle. Um, well, it looks a bit like a shepherd's dog muzzle. It looks a bit like a mutant dog. It looks like something between a dog, between a wolf. It's Husky German Shepherd looking something. Give it a name. Just give it a na name. I don't really know what it is. And if you recognize this figure or this dog, just let me know in the comments below. I think someone is actually supposed to sit on his back. Um, it looks like a saddle up here. It's like a motorcycle saddle. It looks half motorcycle. So it's a bit weird. I know. Um, for now, well, I'm just gonna make some place here. I'm just gonna take these one in the these ones in the box. This is the box where I keep them. There you go, Ryan. Good boy. Ah. One that I really like is one I received from Katie. This is a German, uh, um, yeah, a jumping German Shepherd. It has lovely colors and markings. Very special that it's actually jumping up. He's also holding something in his muzzle. Um, and I like that they also made the teeth like with tiny little white spots. And when you actually have a look at his ears, you see that the figure is not very well finished in shape and in markings and stuff. But it looks really gorgeous in, in general. And this is a really sweet figure. Um, so... I'm really very grateful that Katie could find this figure. I really like this one. It's definitely one of my favorites. It's the paws here. So this one comes from, I believe, an American uh, um, <clears throat> thrift shop. And uh, the brand is unknown as far as I know. Apparently it's male. I don't see any brand. It's just a gorgeous one. Um, this is a little one I found at the coast. He's wearing a tiny loom band. This is actually more like a little statue. It's not exactly a toy. If you if you drop it, it breaks. It's the kind of little figure that I just put um, aside. Uh, as a little ornament. I've been coloring him a bit because the paintings on him weren't very well finished. So that's actually the reason why I uh, colored him a bit. Kept him ever since. I don't actually remember where I got him. A random little uh, toy coast shop. You know those shops that you can see on the on the edge of the coast with all kinds of children's stuff for in on the beach. And sometimes they just sell little souvenirs and figures like dogs or and stuff. Yeah, sorry. Um, so they had this German Shepherd there. It was just 3 euros. Which is actually even cheaper than those Schleich ones and it's twice as big. So <laughs> it's a good deal. It's a nice figure. I kept it ever since. It's really sweet. Just just took, took it with me. Um, and I don't really, don't really know, what to know what to do with it so I keep it here. It doesn't get damaged anyway. So, there you go. The brand is unknown. There are a bunch of figures in these stores. Uh, and mostly the brand is just unknown. So, maybe just a, a little Asian fake thing. Doesn't really have a brand or something. Uh, I can show you the, mod the modern Schleif figures. Like, this is the one I was holding a while ago. This is the modern Schleich German Shepherd, which is kind of fat and smaller than the ones they used to make. And I believe I have two of them. I think someone must have given me one, because apparently I have, I have two. Probably the same person who gave me the second female that I had. Uh, and I believe this one is male. Not really quite quite clear. I don't really know if they actually, as far as I know, they didn't make. Well, apparently, according to its uh, organs, it's rather female, but um, I don't think I've been watching those figures a lot in store, and I never found another German Shepherd like this. So I don't really know if this time they made a. Um, a female, uh, a male like this this time. This is the only model that's available. 
of a German Shepherd these days, and I collected the pup as well. And here's the puppy. That's the puppy wolf. Um, and no, I didn't color one of these because by the time that I got them or got mine and then received one, um, I uh, was a bit older and I realized that actually coloring my figures was not a good idea. <laughs> it's just not done, you know. Uh, but I just, wait, hold on a second. Um, this is the modern Schleich one, like I said. Want to have a look at the modern Papo one? This is him. So now you actually see why I think Papo is definitely better. Uh, this is probably one of my favorite German Shepherd figures. Um, they used to be, you know, the Schleich ones used to be smooth and larger. Now they are crappy and small. And these ones still have those features the Schleich ones used to have. Um, they're smooth, large and very, and very true to the colors. Also, even the, the look in the eyes of the dog is very decent. I picked this one up in Galerie Lafayette in uh, Paris. Um, so this one is branded. This is the Papo German Shepherd. I suggest if you want to find him and you're not living in Paris, just look up, look him up online. If you like figures, you won't be disappointed. Um, he just have this, yeah, slightly curved back. Some of them have. But it's a gorgeous figure and it's really gorgeous looking. I kept him tagged. Um, it's really pretty. And definitely the Papa ones are my favorite figures compared with the Schleich ones. So there is a bit of a difference, see? I'm gonna keep those in my. Uh... Apparently, I didn't collect much other dogs, but in general, I collected figures mostly because of my interest in German Shepherds. So that's why most of them are German Shepherds. Uh, now I can you show you some more unbranded figures of dogs. These are the last ones I'm gonna show you of the dogs. These are figures I found in the grocery, and they came in one set. I got the German Shepherd set, I got this one. I know they're terribly looking, but remember they are unbranded, they're nothing... Uh, they're really pretty, I think so. But if you like branded figures, these are nothing for you. Because they're actually not very well finished. So they came in a doghouse, it was really cute. It's a little family, a couple of German Shepherds with a puppy. So I'm just going to show you them. Well. I believe this is the female. Just gonna call him the female. Call her the female. She has like nice shades of golden and brown. Actually, quite true to the to the right colors. The German Shepherd with this marking on her. I know the markings are kind of crappy. They're not very well finished. Uh, those figures aren't the most pretty ones you'll see. Um, but I th I really like them. And as soon as I saw my grocery brought in those dog houses, I collected the German Shepherd and the um, and the Husky. This is the, the little lion one. And this is a really gorgeous looking one. Uh, I never had one with these markings. Um, the markings are a bit, yeah, well, not very true to the real dog, but really, really sweet actually. It can be a fantasy creature as well. It's not because it looks like this that it really sucks on, well, the whole line. Maybe you can just do a lot of things with these figures and I really appreciate them. Also the shape, I can hold it like this, see the shape is just gorgeous of this dog. Maybe it's not exactly realistic but it's it's really well made. There we go, it's a really gorgeous shape. Um, and the puppy, well the puppy is actually painted like supposedly a German Shepherd puppy but it's a retriever puppy. <laughs> so it's like mixed. Um, believe it's it's it looks rather like a Labrador. Also reminds me of a golden retriever. But but if you would tell me what dog is this, um, let's first look. Crap. This is just a German Shepherd painted Labrador. Uh, 
Now, making the review about these, um, I was really act uh, actually having uh, fun uh, showing you guys the huskies. Because, well, like I told you in that video, there's something really remarkable about the huskies. I'm going to show you them right away. And in that video, I asked you what is wrong actually with these, with these, uh, with these doggies. Well, we actually have a look at this dog here. Uh, you might actually notice that it's painted in white and gray, supposedly coming from the husky with even blue eyes. But it's it's yeah, the markings are applied like they were yeah from a German Shepherd, and this these actually are the right colors. But they're German Shepherd markings and no husky markings. So it's like a half husky, half German Shepherd in silver and white. It's really funny. This is probably one of my favorite figures because of this. It is a completely messed up uh, husky figure, but it's incredible how they have been applying those uh, gray markings. Like if this dog was actually supposedly being a German Shepherd instead of a husky. This is just, yeah, this is kind of hilarious. Um, but when you actually have a look at both, and I really like them both. So you have the golden and black one, which is a German Shepherd. And they have the silver and gray one, which is a husky, or supposedly supposed to be a husky. Uh, I, sp I think so, because the eyes are blue. And these dogs are just... And they are exactly the same figures. They are exactly the same. Um... They have been making a husky out of a German Shepherd, or vice versa. Um, but obviously, they, yeah, they did something really special with the markings. You have the same effect here with the female lying down. I suppose this is the male. I have no idea. Yes, it's a male. Um, she also has Jimmy Shepherd markings over her. Um, she looks more like a husky, actually, when you actually see her uh, her head and her forehead. Just that her ears are like, yeah, fuchsia pink, which make her look, yeah, even bloody sometimes. She has, like, gorgeous blue eyes and... Uh, she lies down like, yeah, like the other one I showed. Wait, there you go. So these figures were found in my local grocery. I don't know, for some reason they had these figures in. And this is the puppy, the same retriever puppy, this time in silver and... Uh, I call it silver, but it's rather gray and, and blue. With the blue eyes and the same, yeah, well... The same pink ears that are not even... This is quite funny, the pink ears. They put a, a little pink... Um, um, some pink paint on his ears, while the ears are actually turned... Uh, not, not exactly inside out, but the ears are just fallen, so... It's not that you, don't ha it's not that you really have to, to color them in pink doesn't make any sense. They should have been white or something. Um, this is the puppy. Doesn't look like a husky puppy at all. <laughs> there you go. So actually what you can suppose is that they are not really husky. So you can just imagine they are mixed or, or fantasy dogs. or That's actually, yeah, very exciting compared with... Um, with um, with the idea of them being yeah, like existing dogs, just just imagine have have this dog as your pet. Wouldn't just be wouldn't it just be gorgeous actually to uh, and then actually see this video and see that the that he exists as a figure. Well, I would be quite excited. So these figures, as far as I know, are unbranded again. Lots of them are unbranded. Now let's keep moving to the wolves. I have been collecting a few wolves um, in figures. Fortunately, I have been recording the ones that I... Well, the previous ones that Schleich ever released, but I never collected them. So I, I started my wolf collection quite late compared with the nice figures that I could find on my way by then. Uh, but... The good news is that most of them are branded. <laughs> um, 
I'm gonna show you my uh, very uh, first wolf figures first. Now, there is this one. This is a walking female wolf. And I got it for Vesper too. Um, it is a, a really nice work. It is gorgeous. It has long legs. It is, yeah, it looks like a timber wolf, mostly, I think. Um, and I have been holding that figure in store and people have been asking me did you buy it no not that time but i went back to buy it because it's a gorgeous figure and uh, so now you know that i do have it in my collection this is a popple figure which i got from dreamland in villevoord so um yeah maybe this one is still to be found online it has gorgeous yellow eyes so this is the first one i still have her tagged they also released the male, and this is the male. This is the uh, the howling one, and his tail is retracted under his or between his back leg, fortunately. Uh, but he's a howling male. He has closed eyes, and this is the other adult that you can get. Little pulpets, and this is yeah, she's walking, and this is their pup. This is the the cub. Oh, there you go. Sometimes they're hard to hold. So the the cub is also walking. Mm, it's tiny tail. <laughs> um, actually forgot the name of the store where I got this mail. Um, it was in a mall. Um, in Brussels. But um, as they had these ones together. I just got them both. They didn't have the female anymore. Um, but I think this this little one here they did a really good job on him. He he looks so well. I think he looks even prettier than all the schleich ones they ever made. But it's been a while since I saw them. Fortunately, I couldn't collect or didn't collect these figures, and now they're retired and hard to get. So um, and this is the little cubby. It's really cute. So these are my first Papo figures. And these ones come from the same store in Brussels. Um, now, I also found in Paris, in Galerie Lafayette, also found this Arctic wolf. I, f I saw it online before going to Paris. And I knew I would find it if I could, uh, if I was in the right place. And, uh, well, I got it then. And uh, it's one of the prettiest wool figures actually I've ever seen. So it's uh, it's really gorgeous. I, s I noticed it was absolutely gorgeous. So uh, I knew that if I would find, uh, if I would find, I would take it with me. Um, just to, to give you a comparison with the Schleich one, this is a Schleich... Arctic wolf or pale wolf. I think they just look so crappy these days. I think they did a much better job on this one here. Um, and on this one. Of course, having them both is very interesting because your wolf figures look different. And um, you can, you can, yeah, collect a whole pack like this. And this is just standing, and it has this this nice gray on on his back, and yeah, I really I just love this figure. I kept it ever since. Uh, and yeah, this is the Schleich one, which I'm gonna show you soon again. So this is another Papo figure, which I got from Paris in the Galerie Lafayette. Maybe you should just yeah look them up online if you can. Um, because I can't tell you which shops have Papo figures and which ones don't. It depends. Some of them bring them in, some of them bring in the both brands. Um, um, well, the Get the Schleich ones, or maybe I can just show you my last Papo Wolf. Talking about this, this is like, yeah, my all time favorite. This is my large Papo Wolf. I got. I also found him in Galerie Lafayette in in Paris, same store as the white one. 
um, these figures, I have no idea wh where they bring in those large Pablo figures. There's a white lion as well. Got the wolf. Um, he costs something. I, I think I paid about 18 euros for him. He's absolutely gorgeous. He's white. He looks rather like a timber wolf, I believe. Well, he has like white legs and a bit of a white muzzle. And his tail is hanging. Um, it's really sturdy. It's like the smaller figures, but in a bit of a larger size. They should actually have made the tip of his tail black. Um, this is, yeah, one hell of a figure. I love it. I just love it. I got it also that I could actually um, make my drawings and stuff. So, yeah. He has no name. Um... But I suggest, I would say, if you ever find this figure in store and you want to collect him, um, just get him ri right then. Because I came across him one time, never saw him ever since. So maybe to just a few stores who bring in those large figures. Um, of course, Gallery Lafayette is a very large department store. Which is in general very expensive. It's a bit like Marks and Spencer or uh, ha or um, Harrods. You can actually compare it with um, Marks and Spencer. I don't really know if that's a department store. Um, but yeah, it's a bit like like Harrods, I believe, if I'm right. Um, and those stores are in general very chic. So sometimes they can just afford. Um, because of their benefits to bring in those toys because it's an interesting investment for them and uh, that might actually be the, be the problem that most stores don't bring in those large ones so if you find it and you want it just get it well here in Europe these figures are not to be found in the smaller stores anyway so So that was it for my Papa Wolves. Here are my two Schleich Wolfies. This is the one they sell today in 2019. I don't really know. He is from a few years ago, I think. He's still, he's still, uh, he's actually still in stores. This one should still be available. It's just that he looks, yeah, well, he looks like a zombie. <laughs> actually, it would be a nice name for him, zombie. Um, he looks crappy and terrible. I think so. Yeah, I don't really know what got in my mind to get him. I just wanted to get one of the there's wolves, but I think the wolves they used to make are even better than this one. Seriously, look at this. It looks like a cheetah. He looks like he is full of fleas. It looks like he should. Yeah, really. He looks like it looks like he's actually soaking wet. Um, he looks terrible. The markings, the crappiness, and, uh, yeah, it's not a, not a very pretty figure, if you ask me. Um, but I still have him here, so, seriously, it looks like a f feline. Felines, I don't really know how you say that. This is the same one, uh, but it's, I, be I believe this is the Arctic version, which I, yeah, collected, of course. Um... Really charming, really doggy looking. Um, no marking on the back though. It's a really pretty figure. This is, this is one I like. It's just that it looks a bit... It looks cream colored. Not quite sure if it's supposed to be... Um, a uh, arctic uh, wolf. Or a, uh, a regular wolf. So these are the Schleich ones. And they're all very... They have this very crappy little fur on them. The ones I used to make used to be grey, better looking. There we go. Now there are two unbranded larger wolves I can show you that actually mostly go with this one. Uh, I found this one here, this is a howling wolf. He has red eyes, this is just, yeah. 
another fantasy animal, I suggest, or I suppose. Um, this this one is howling. I've been coloring him a bit just to give him better markings. He, uh, well, he's just a, a wolf that I found in Spain. He was in a crane um, in front of the Sagrada Familia um, church where uh, they were selling a bunch of plush as well. And none of the plush that were there were very interesting for me. But the cashier had this wolf right next to him. And I was like, what do you want for the wolf? <laughs> so um, I paid like 12 euros for it, which is damn much. <laughs> but I really liked it. So yeah, I collected it. Um, I really liked it. And actually figures like, yeah, wolf figures like this are kind of rare. They are pretty unknown. They're not very popular. So finding this wolf figure in this size, or a wolf figure, is kind of a nice opportunity. And it goes pretty well with this one here. I have a little pack. And the very first larger wolf that I found is this brown female here. Um, I know her markings look a bit crappy or not very pretty. She looks like a bear. Her markings make her look like a bear. Uh, still, she has a canine face, and I like the painting work on her teeth, which is really well made. Even though her teeth look quite white for a wild animal, and they all have the same size, the back teeth. Um, eyes are rather orange, yeah, orange red. It's like a really creepy dog. It reminds me of the, the dog of the Baskervilles in the Sherlock Holmes stories. But... Um, it's a really pretty figure. I got it in a, well, in a drugstore, um, a random drugstore, and um, it just, I think I paid like two euros for it. It is quite, qual the quality is actually quite okay, and it's a strong, heavy figure. It actually is m worth a bit more than I paid for it, definitely. I got one for Vesper like this as well. It's not the most, the prettiest wolf I ever saw, but it's, yeah, I'm still happy I could find it, so. Um, it's something like between a dog and a wolf, it has a very special uh, shape, actually. But it's very nice. So these are my two larger wolves. So this one is unbranded, and this one as well. Just came across them at random, really. The ones that I also keep here are my Eevees, because I think they look also like little foxes. The little Eevee that Katie gave me. And also this one, which I still have. When you wag her tail, she moves her ears up and down, she's very Eevee-like. So that's, that's really cute. Yes, I know, there are nice foxes as well, but I never got actually into foxes. I was actually going to collect the Schleich, the Schleich Hedgehog. I still have to go after it. Uh, I have been, um, yeah, what was it? yeah, later, later, later. <laughs> I, I didn't really want to do it. Um, and here's my other falcon just to show you. And he is a, I think he's a Schleich one. Um, so yeah. I had a few prey birds as well, but actually would like to get rid of those. I have, um, I get my falcon so far. So there you go. This was my, um, uh, dog figure collection. I have larger ones, but they're more like, yeah, big figures or statues. So they're not actually toys. And I have a few of those. Because I have been collecting a few of them. It's just that some of them are at the attic. Others are here. And when I found the pretty ones, sometimes I collect it. But these days, I don't really do it so much because they take a lot of room. But these are no toys. They are rather like... Yeah, but actually, I made, I made videos about this a while ago. Should still be on my channel. Those videos are kind of old, but they're still quite up to date. 
Um, I really hope you enjoyed this video, guys, and I'll see you later. Thanks for watching.